Hey everybody, what's going on? Basin here and welcome to another video here on the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about how to get money in this game. Three different ways, actually. And you normally will have seen one of them, but I like to show you extra options if that one's not your taste. So, you're going to need a few things. You're going to need the Versus Seeker, which Lucas will give you at some point during the story. You're going to need Cynthia's Spray, Secret Medicine, to put on the Psyduck at the north of Route 10, which will happen in the story. You need, uh, you need the Versus Seeker, you need that. And you need the Amulet Coin, which you can find in Amity Square near the beginning of the game. I mean, a little bit through the game, but... You need that as well. So, what you're gonna do? Yeah, the first spot. The first spot that we're going to go to is to the north of Route 210. So you're gonna go all the way this way through here. Take it off your bike because you can't ride your bike through this grass. After I was so rudely interrupted by that Pokemon battle, let's go here. So we're at the north of Route 210. So then we're going to hit this area. I should also say, I suggest you have defog at this point, but you really can't access this area without defog, which is in, which you can find in the Great Marsh. So, all right. Now that that's done and over with, you're going to want to come over here. You're going to want to destroy this tree. This tree can be easily cut down. Then you're going to continue your way over here. Hop down over here. And you see these two trainers running right by the waterfall. What you're going to do, use your Versus Seeker and then talk to one of them. Not to the... And when you, when you fight them, they will have two Pokemon. They will have a Gyarados and a Raichu. I think that they are both at level 27. We will confirm that in a second. But... This battle isn't too hard if you've beaten the Pokemon League at this point Because level 27 Pokemon should be no issue for your 60 plus team Yes, they are both level 27. I'm just gonna use Dark Pulse and Dazzling Gleam, but Dazzling Gleam should be able to kill both of them in one hit Yep So you beat these two very very easily with with a dazzling gleam from a Roserade, which is pretty powerful, but And after you beat them They have the the little tiny things and then you will see that you make twenty six thousand seven hundred and eighty four dollars for winning which is a lot of money in for one battle and so they stand here now and you could just you could run around in circles and redo the battle again and get another $26,000 from both of them, which is really good. But that's one of the few options. I'm going to show you the other options right now. You're going to fly all the way to Heart Home City. And once you land in Heart Home City, you're going to come down over here and go to the south. Go past all of these people. And as we run down this way, I want you to know that these police officers during the nighttime, if you have not faced them yet, they will battle you. So I suggest you either face them during the nighttime or do this during the daytime. So this is the one you've probably seen before. These two people have a lot of money to give away. So you're gonna use the verse seeker. And you're going to use this one. So this gentleman right here has a chat hot at level 40 when you face him after the Pokemon League. And the chat hot isn't that hard to kill, uh, especially if you have a Pokemon League caliber team. I'm going to use Aerial Ace here. Which kills in one hit easily. You get experience points. And 
and we get sixteen thousand three hundred twenty dollars for winning. So sixteen thousand. So you could run around and see whatever Pokemon you get here. Also, I should mention the lady over here has a Roselia that's level forty, and will give you approximately the same amount of money. So what I like to do instead, this is your third option to do it, is I like to run this way. I like to run all the way around here because I don't like running in circles in one spot for too long. I like to run all the way over here, do that maybe once or twice, and you'll see that this woman wants to battle. She will also have a level 40 Pokemon and it'll be a level 40 low punny. Once again, should not be an issue for a Pokemon League caliber team. So what we're going to do is release. Easy one hit KO. And the low punny's down. And I get two level ups. <laughs> All right, so we beat Lady Melissa and we get 13,120. This is the the lowest amount that you'll get But It is very beneficial in my opinion because you just kind of change up the scenery and you're not facing the same Pokemon over and over and over again But if you want to be super super like Efficient with your time the the first two trainers I showed you would probably be your best bet so we're gonna go into this battle with the Roselia and we'll get another sixteen thousand dollars from this woman also I should mention that it's tough because Roselia does have poison point here so make sure that you keep that in mind so we beat her and we get another sixteen thousand three hundred twenty dollars for winning so I've done this a few times today and a little bit last night I'm at $517,000 right now. So, it's a quick way to make sure you get a lot of money. So, that's going to end it here today. I showed you three different ways to make money here in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. And I hope that you all have a fantastic day. If you like the video, make sure you click that subscribe button. And if you like the video, like the video it really helps out the algorithm and everything as well so i hope you have a fantastic rest of your day and i will see you all here back tomorrow for another video see y'all then